This potion will allow you to get rid of moss in just one day. When you see that green deposit on the driveway, to the garage, or on the patio tiles, start acting. Moss is best combated on a sunny day. It is known to appear in damp and shaded areas. The sun is its enemy. Especially after a mild winter, it spruits even in places where it has never been before. That's why today I'll show you a homemade spray that will tackle it. Prepare a container and mix water with vinegar in a ratio of 1 to 2. For example, pour 200 milliliters of water into the container and add 400 milliliters of vinegar. Vinegar is known for its effectiveness in combating moss. Add a bit of dishwashing liquid to the mixture. The liquid alone doesn't combat moss as effectively, but it prevents the mixture from running off the tiles or bricks. If you also add this oil, the mixture will be more effective. It's geranium essential oil. It's a natural agent for removing moss and weeds. Pour the mixture into the bottle. Spray the area where moss occurs. As I mentioned earlier, it's best to do this on a sunny day. The sun will speed up the whole process of eliminating moss. The next day, just sweep and the tiles will be clean. You can always have such a liquid on hand and use it regularly to prevent moss from reappearing. Mold has appeared in your house? You can quickly remove it with a super effective spray. This homemade product always works. Thanks to it, many people got rid of mold once and for all. Today I will show you the recipe for this spray. Before you use it, let me tell you one more thing. Or rather, the hidden function of one thing. If you do not ventilate your apartment, the lack of air circulation favors the development of mold and fungi. If you don't have air vents, unseal the windows. The handle in most plastic windows has an additional function. In addition to opening and tilting the window, you can unseal it. Position the handle diagonally, at an angle. Additionally, always turn on the absorber when cooking, then steam will not settle on the walls and ceiling in the kitchen. However, the most important thing is always good air circulation in the bathroom. This is where you most often need to remove mold from tiles, in the shower or bathtub. Many people have to use home spray in the bathroom. To prepare it, prepare three products. The first is vinegar. It has long been successfully used to combat mold and fungi. The second product is hydrogen peroxide. You can buy it at any pharmacy. It also effectively removes mold. However, vinegar combined with hydrogen peroxide becomes much more powerful. Use them in equal amounts. Pour the mixture into a large or small bottle and spray it on the mold areas. Add a dozen or so drops of tea tree oil to them. Now, no mold has a chance. Leave the preparation on the mold for several days. Then, wash off any mold remnants. Be sure to throw away the cloths and brushes you used to clean and remove mold. And that's it. If you did everything correctly, the mold will disappear. From now on, you will always know how to remove it. More and more people are hanging balloons on their balconies. The reason is surprising. If you notice such balloons on someone's balcony, they will signify one thing. Although it may seem strange at first, it has a great advantage. In this video, you will learn about their significance. Just a few balloons are enough. Choose a few balloons. Maybe you have some balloons at home from carnival or children's birthdays. The more colorful, the better. The size doesn't matter. Inflate them. Tie a ribbon to each balloon. They can be of different colors and lengths. You can even tie two or three balloons with one ribbon. Go out to the balcony and tie the balloons to the railing. Do it in several places. The balloons can hang on the railing from both sides. The wind will move them. And that's the point. If you notice such balloons on the balcony, you need to know one thing. They are not a balcony decoration. They are also not mounted on it because of a home celebration. It is not any indication of the apartment either. Instead, it is excellent protection. Against what? Against pigeons, balloons deader them. Birds will not land on a balcony with balloons. You don't have to worry that they will build a nest there in the spring or that they will soil your tiles and railing. Just a few balloons are enough to keep birds away. This is a great way to deal with pigeons.
neighbors will quickly start doing the same when they notice that there are no more birds on your balcony. I hang garbage bags on the balcony. My grandma taught me this trick, and I always do it during winter. I highly recommend this trick to everyone. I can't imagine surviving the entire winter without it. All my friends have tried it too, and now my family doesn't even bat an eye when they see more bags on the balcony. I tie them to the railing. That works best. Larger trash bags with strings are perfect for this. It's even better when they have strings that I can use not only to tie the bag, but also to fasten it to the railing. Other bags work as well. I don't use this trick all year round. There need to be appropriate conditions. Winter is the best time for it. When I have these bags, I go around the house and tidy up. I check the living room and bedroom, collecting everything that fits into the bag. But it's not garbage. These bags aren't meant for waste or trash. They're intended for something else. From the bedroom, I take pillows and remove the pillowcases. They are ordinary sleeping pillows. I remove the pillowcases and take them for laundry. I put the pillow into the bag. I do the same with the next pillow. I also take pillows from the sofa and pack them into garbage bags. I do this whenever it's freezing and the temperature drops below zero. I expose pillows, blankets, comforters, and even children's stuffed animals to the cold. I use the balcony for this purpose. My grandma used to take everything outside and lay it on the snow. Low temperatures kill dust, mites, bacteria, and various insects. All the items that I don't wash in the machine, I expose to the cold in winter. Thanks to this, they are free from dust mites, and the stale dust smell disappears. They now only smell like fresh air. Take a dustpan, a stocking, and a few drops of a specific substance. This set will make your windows shine like never before. You'll forget about streaks forever. Everyone dreams of clean windows, but you don't have to spend money on special cleaning fluids. A homemade spray will make your windows sparkling and there won't be a single streak on them. Before you learn my recipe, familiarize yourself with the method of cleaning windows with a dustpan. Many people don't know that it can be useful when cleaning glass. However, it has something that is very useful for this task. It can replace a squeegee when you don't have one. The rubber element is perfect for this. And the stocking? Nylon tights and stockings have a certain property. No streaks or streaks appear on windows polished with them, even after rain. So if you polish your windows with an old stocking after washing them, they will shine for weeks. The window cleaning solution itself should have one important ingredient. It prevents dust, dirt, or grime from settling on the windows. It also reduces the risk of streaks. A small amount is enough for the windows to stay clean even twice as long as usual. Pour half a liter of regular water into a container. Add half a cup of vinegar. Pour in a tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. Squeeze the juice from half a lemon. And finally, add several drops of glycerin. If you don't have glycerin, you can use fabric softener or winter windshield washer fluid. These products contain glycerin. Windows washed with this solution are so clean that even a fly won't land on them. And that's literal. The scent of vinegar and lemon effectively repels insects. Flies, fruit flies, and even mosquitoes will not come near.